So, okay, so when it comes to accounts, the first thing you're going to do is obviously, you know, let us know that you want to, you know, set up your accounts. And what we'll do is under this activate update details section is create the billing structure. Okay. Apologies, I didn't take a screenshot of this site. Full site. Um, what will happen is you'll you'll recommend, especially if you're doing the merchant with us, if you're going to be absorbing your, your costs um, in terms of the fees for direct debits, or you're going to be passing them on, same as credit cards, absorbing or passing them on, and then um, setting up that sort of billing structure, as well as for everyone that is doing accounts, regardless if you're using our merchant or not, choosing if you're going to be billing in arrears or in advance, right? Um, or what structure you're going to be choosing out of the drop down. So you'll come to here under CCS Activate Details and do that, okay? The next thing that you're going to need to do, some of you may have already had your family account list populated by us. So one thing that we do do, um, and family accounts and owner are located under families, family accounts. And what we can populate for you if you, um, you know, let us know what your know, software you're using and what, um, what sort of list you need to extract for us, we can populate these account names, okay? So all the different accounts that you have in your center, and the name column, okay? And we can populate that, that all there for you. And then um, what will happen with that is you'll have a whole list of all your accounts on the left-hand side here. And the one thing that we don't do with that load is link them up. And the reason we don't is just from a security point of view. We, want, we don't want, we don't want to um, accidentally link the wrong carer and give them access to the financial information, okay? So the next step is once that account name list is loaded, then you just go in and link them up. Okay. For any centers that don't want to use us for loading their centers or they're small or whatever reason they want to do it themselves, you can click the plus button in the top right hand corner of the um of the, the screen here and just add in your account names yourselves. Okay. However, for the larger centers, if you want, we can load that all in for you. That's not a problem. To link your accounts, it's very simple. All you do is just find the carers and guardians that um, belong to that account and the children. Okay. Think of the carers and guardians as account holders. So if someone shouldn't have access to the financial accounts, you don't link them up. So they can still have access to the rest of the um, communication side of things, the reports and the attendances and the posts and all that for their child, but they just won't see the account side, okay? And if you've got your account name here, all you do is just click on that account name, link up the, the carers and guardians by clicking in the box and selecting them from the drop down. So if you're looking from a chronological order, we load in the account names first, then we link them up, okay? Along with loading your account names, we can also load in all your bonds, right? The reason we do bonds and account names at the beginning is because the bonds don't change much, okay? And then closer to when you actually go live with your CCS, we can load in your balances. The reason we do it closer to the CCS live date is obviously because the balances are going to change a lot between when you first start setting up your accounts and when you actually go live. So that's why we focus on that at the later stage, okay? And then essentially this whole screen gets populated. You'll have your account names, you'll go through list, link them all up. And as I was saying before, just click on the account name, click in that empty space and then select your parents from your list, okay? It's very important as well for centers that may have not finished the data load process to focus on that first, because we can't go and link accounts or do anything in that sort of capacity, unless those um, the children and the parents and everything are already in the database in our system, okay? So if you haven't done that step, focus on that first. And when you get here, you, you can go through and link them up. Okay, and then you just click the update button, sorry. And then once that's done, you'll have an account with all your you know children and multiple carers. And as I said before, you can have one or you can have multiple, just think of them as account holders, okay? but there's no limit on how many you can link. Um, and then basically what, what that means is once they're linked up, the parents, when they go on their app, okay, can actually just go in. So when the parents log onto the app, this is what they'll see. They've gone to the home screen. They'll be able to see, you know, the, the timeline and whatnot. On the left-hand menu here, as long as they have been linked up to that family account correctly, they'll be able to click the statements and invoices section and it will give them access to these um, sort of financial information. So they'll be able to see their invoices, their statement, as well as um, sign that DDR form at the top here. 